everyone, Nebraska and Gunnar here, bringing you guys a quick video on pullbacks, um, bullish dips, uh, dead cat bounces, things like that. Um, and I mentioned this a little bit last night on Twitter, how, you know, sometimes you get these strong candles with hardly any upper wick, nice strong candle, high volume, and you still see a pullback. Okay, you see here's a nice strong candle um, with a pullback. And I told you guys I was gonna start making more video content, um, especially for Elevate Trading members. I've got a huge calendar in there that I'm putting together that's gonna have a calendar of events of all the expected video content coming out. Um, some trade reviews, um, chart reviews, risk management, uh, videos, uh, entering and exiting trades, building strategies, things like that. Um, we'll start covering those monthly at set on a set schedule and we'll rotate a couple of those subjects in and out every other month. Um, but I think it should be really good for everyone and it'll be hopefully, you know, added value or it'll be added value for all of our members. So really what do we look for when we're, cause are we buying, you know, when this monthly candle closes and we're going to, we're not going to really talk about just monthly in particular. We're just going to talk about in general. So whatever time frame this may be one hour or whatever, um, what am I doing at this candle? Right? So this is a bullish close above my EMAs. So I just want to buy support when we drop, if we drop, right. Um, very rarely do we see a candle with no lower wick. All right. So this one obviously didn't have a lower wick, nice, strong candle. Um, so you have to play everything. Um, individually and assess everything on an individual level. But what we can do is at least know trends and know probabilities that happen more often than not, okay? So more often than not, we get at least some pullback. And this is a strategy I can use on altcoins on low time frames when I get a strong breakout or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Fibonacci, okay? And I'm just gonna pull up. So let's say we get this strong candle here. It closes just above this open, which is which is a great signal saying we could bounce more. So I'm gonna look at the 0.382 Fibonacci level, which is our bullish retracement Fib, okay? So I'm going to pull that from the bottom of this candle to the top of this candle, okay? So if I'm looking to buy, I just wanna buy the 0.382. It's just in my mind right now. This can be like my initial target. And you can see here, perfect bounce at the 0.382, a little bit lower, obviously, just barely, but that's okay. That's why we put stop losses. That's why we can DCA into these entries, et cetera, et cetera. All right. 0.382 FIB to the 0.236 FIB is pretty much always like my scalp target per se, my short, my first target. Okay. Because when you bounce to the 0.382, you almost always go to the 0.236. All right. Um, very high accuracy rate with that. So on any time frame, if I'm watching a one hour chart, and I get this big candle here. Let's say this is an altcoin, I don't know, TRX or whatever. Let's say I get an altcoin with this big green candle, okay? I'm gonna draw my fibs here, all right? And this is how, if you're late to a move, you can catch the neck, you know, you can catch catch a late scalp on it. So rather than trying to short the top of one of these or whatever. So let's say this is the candle, all right? And maybe I get another candle and pull back and you obviously have to wait for it to start pulling back, okay? Because if you're drawing it here and it goes up here and here and here and here and here, blah, 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 um, you're obviously not going to be catching this. So you have to wait till it starts to actually pull back, all right? And you'll know because you'll see some selling start to come in. Um, so let's say this is my candle on my 1H and I'm just going to, draw a uh, support here at the 0 0.382 fib. All right. And then, so my plan would be on this um, chart to long the 0 0.382 up to the 0 0.236. Okay. And then if we break through hard, maybe I can hold at that point. If we break through my target, I always use a trailing stop from here. Um, or I just take profit depending on, um, you know, the trade, but I'm always going to at least take some profit there or trail a stop or whatever, because many times that's actually not the top. Okay. And then we drop further, especially on some of these uh, altcoins. All right. They can wick like crazy. They can drop down and bounce back up. They can do crazy things. Um, so with a high hit rate though, I know that the 0.3 to the 0.236 is a high hit rate. And just for the sake of this, we'll say, what's my percentage here? So a 10% trade, if I'm just doing no leverage, right? 10% scalp trade, which is, is great. And usually it's pretty quick, you guys. Like it's a pretty quick rebound on that usually. All right. Um, so we can see how uh, that works now get a better understanding of that. So now if I just go over here, let's see this one obviously retraced it a little bit deeper. Um, I like to do it from the bottom of the impulse. So, I mean, I guess we could technically say this, um, but a lot of times I do it on the higher time frames, especially, you know, I usually do it from the impulse, which is right here. Okay. So this one obviously went to the 0.5, but again, if I bought the three, three, eight, two, 
okay? If I bought the 0.382, depending on my stop loss, depending on if I laddered in, depending on if, um, you know, if it breaks straight through and I'm waiting for it to break back above, okay? Um, depending on all those factors, you see that this actually ended up being a really good entry, right? Okay, so 0.382, and you'll see these trends, and sometimes on different assets, it's different trends. So maybe it's like the 0.5, it always bounces, or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so you wanna study the chart history and um, find these things out. Um, but basically here, okay, again, um, so I usually like to go to the impulse. So like the 0.236 is like the mega bullish bounce, which you can see we actually did up here, I believe right here. All right, 0.236 bounce. We never actually made it to the 0.382. Uh, um, so 0.382 though, um, I don't know if I draw from this candle if it's 0.382 and look at that, it is, okay? Uh, so that's kind of our like main focal point of interest. Um, let's see on this one, if I would've gotten a 0.382 bounce, Okay, so we held the 0.382 and then bounced up here. So again, um, you can definitely see we held the 0.382, we bounced and for a scalp, like I said, this this is a high efficiency rate here from a, a scalp perspective, okay? So if I'm just scalping this, um, you know, it's another 5% there non-leveraged. All right, um, let's see, another one here, this is the impulse. Okay, boom, right at the 0 0.382. You can see we got a bounce at some point. I'd have to dive deeper to see when it actually happened. But again, 0 0.382 um, with a high efficiency rate, you guys. So that's gonna be in your bullish training markets. You're gonna be looking at your 0 0.382 as a guide for uh, at least scalping, if not for you know major entries. So if I'm just looking on this monthly, okay, and the impulse almost start, I mean, I would say it starts from here. Okay, um, but we could also go here, which is probably valid still. So I would say 17.3 would be kind of like a dip target. Okay, if we do pull back and then potentially 16.2 ish. All right, uh, so these would be like bullish pullback, bullish pullback areas. And I'm trying to find confluence now over here from support zones. So you can see here. So then we always, I always look for confluence, you know, to make sure that one idea lines up with multiple. Okay, so if I draw that there and you can see here how this lines up very well with my 0.382 Fibonacci level, okay? So if I'm looking for a pullback on the Bitcoin monthly chart, I would expect, you know, since we immediately start to pull back, um, I would expect a potential 17,300 area, maybe lower. For now, I would consider 17,300, okay? Um, and that's potential to send us higher all right, if we get a bullish bounce there, otherwise we hit the 0.236 and then now we can talk about the 0.5 or lower and that's if this holds. Now, if we break straight through that, obviously we have some different scenarios to consider, right? Okay, um, but, and then if we want to really zoom out and maybe we could go to weekly or something, but if we really wanna zoom out and say, where did this whole impulse start from? Um, and I would say basically here, right? Okay, so the 0.382 there is 14.6, which lines up really well with this support area, okay? So I would very much assume that a bounce around 14.6, 14.6 um, is in the cards. All right, that seems pretty logical. Let's go ahead and put our support zone right above this wick. Nice little support zone there, okay? Um, it's a very big lower wick. I don't know if I would draw all the way down here, but for again, our 0.382 is 13747 right at the bottom of this candle. So it could definitely have some validity as well. Um, let's just go for fun and say this whole impulse up here. Okay, let's just see what this is. Let's see if we got a strong bounce of the 0.382. All right, so we actually basically closed below the 0.382, but you can see at some point we hit the 0.382 and bounced to the 0.236 again which would have been, you know, another 17% spot trade. So um, 0.382 Fib to 0.236, it's valid on, mul on multiple timeframes, multiple assets. Let's see, I'll try to do real quick for you guys. Um, I wanna make this a short, a short video with just some content. Um, let's just see if we can find maybe a link. Um, let's say like a one hour breakout here. I'm trying to just find like a really, really strong breakout candle. Um, like that, but see, we didn't really continue on. But anyway, so let's see. So this candle up here, okay. 
I can't see my numbers very well. Let's pull it. Oh, you can't see them anyway. All right. Let's pull it out here more. So 0 0.382. Here you go. So you see that we broke up, dropped to the 0 0.382, bounced to 0 0.236. And for, uh, for a uh, scalp trade, Okay, um, 0.8%. If I'm using leverage, you know, 10x leverage, that's an 8% trade. I said it 10 times already, 0.382 FIB on a strong impulse, all right? Strong impulse uh, up to the 0.236 with a very high hit rate, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Make sure you uh, subscribe to YouTube to catch all my videos. Thanks, guys.